So greetings to everyone, and on behalf of Human Life International Ireland, I welcome you to our virtual vigil of prayer here in Moiras, uh, with thanks to the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and Father Bushy Martin, our celebrant today. We join here today on behalf of the people of Ireland to make reparation to God for the ways we as a nation have turned away from him, to repent of our sin and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Following the Irish people's vote for abortion in 2018 and its introduction in the North, we are responding to Our Lady of Fatima's call to make reparation to God the Father, so offended by our sins. We ask you, Our Lady of Fatima, to intercede for us and to magnify our prayers before the throne of God. I would now like to read you the following message from Patrick McChrystal, Executive Director of HLI Ireland. This land belongs to Christ. It always will. Catholicism is the most irresistible force on the face of the planet for the salvation of souls and will prevail over all other ideologies and isms. Pope John Paul II told us the blood of Christ gives us the absolute certitude that in God's plan, life will be victorious. The vicious anti-Catholic forces seething in our land threaten life, faith, and family. They might win some temporary battles, but they will not win the war. Christ calls us to proclaim his Ten Commandments and the full demands of his gospel to an unbelieving world. He calls our nation to repentance for embracing the culture of death and rejecting his laws. That is why we are here today. Reparation and repentance are critical to mitigate God's right to justice, which he manifested many times throughout Bible history when his people apostasied and turned to false gods. Ireland, I believe, in its current state, is in a dire state of vulnerability to God's right justice. A nationwide repentance and reparation can mitigate disaster, as the people of Nineveh demonstrated. And what we are doing today is right at the heart of the remedy. Let's pray and work together to seek God's face, follow his instructions, and proclaim his truth as he shows us. In 2 Chronicles 7.14, the Lord says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. We remember that in scripture, Nineveh repented and God relented. Sincerely, Patrick Most holy Lord 
Jesus Christ, you and all your chapels throughout the world, and we bless you because by the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. So we're now going to start with uh, the Rosary of Our Blessed Lady, followed by the Divine Mercy uh, devotion, and then followed by a Litany of Repentance. And then there we'll have a few moments of silence before benediction, before Holy Mass around eight o'clock. So we we'll start with the Rosary. So come Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come by means, means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well beloved spouse. Thou, Lord, will open my lips. And I continue to open my thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. Mm. Glory to the Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. Is now uh, and ever shall be one without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For a plenary indulgence for the holy souls and for the Pope's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of hope, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The five glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. save the us from the fires of hell. Fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave the second glorious mystery is the Ascension. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now down at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of your mercy. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have the cross to be sent very to them. Pray for us. Amen. Ave Maria, Ave Maria, Ave Maria. The fairest, glorious mysteries, the descent of the Holy Spirit on the apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who, who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. save us, us, us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, and have recourse to you. St. Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Ave Maria, Ave Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. Our Father who art in Heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in Heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of your mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give unto us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, and pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Especially those who most need of your mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us, so I propose to you. Uh, St. Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To, to be, to be bride, for by his children to be. To you, be, to be sent of our sons, mourning and weeping in this body of tears. From them, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of the Lord Jesus. O Clement, the loving, your sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of the Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech you that, meditating upon these mysteries in the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may these divine assistance remain always with us. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Blessed St. Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us in the hour of conflict. Be our safeguard against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. And may God agree with you who we only pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, trust Satan down to and with him all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the human souls. Amen. With all the guardian angels we pray, all angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our sides. To light and guide, to rule and to guide. Amen. And uh, we're mindful that the COVID-19 crisis is still ongoing. And a Irish priest in Donegal, uh, Father Philip, I believe, uh, proposed a campaign, a spiritual prayer campaign, No One Dies Alone that he heard, he heard of people, especially when it, it was very bad in Italy, who the staff were under such pressure that on occasion they weren't able to be at the bedside when someone died without their family. And um, for them, for anyone in that situation with the virus, uh, who may be dying alone, we are going to pray the divine mercy. Uh, we pray for the dying in any case. When we pray the, the divine mercy, Jesus said he will stand not as a just judge, but as a merciful saviour when prayed in the presence of the dying person. And Father Philip was making the point that like St. Faustina described in her diary, we can spiritually, um, in faith, be uh, there on behalf of someone perhaps who's dying unprepared or fearful or unreconciled with themselves, with their neighbour and especially with God. So we're going to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet now, and, um, and we'll remember all those, as I say, who are dying at this time, or who have died through this whole time. So you expired, Lord Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, 
and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which rush forth from the heart of Jesus, Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which rush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in the time for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, soul and divinity, divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And atone for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the, the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dear beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, in his own for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, in atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, soul and divinity, divinity of your dear beloved Son, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. God, our Father, in whom mercy is endless and the treasure of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us, increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Mm -hmm. Amen. And um, I think, uh, Father... Washing is going to do the litany prayers of repentance before we have a few moments of silence, silent adoration, and then benediction of the most blessed sacrament. Father Washing is going to. <coughs> We will now have a litany of repentance. If you can, all please me.
The response to each prayer is forgive us, Lord. Forgive, forgive us, Lord. Lord. For the times as a nation we have denied God's existence and disobeyed his laws and commandments. Forgive, forgive us, us, Lord. Lord. For the times I have not put God first in my life. Forgive, forgive us, us Lord. Lord. For the times I have put false idols before you, Lord. Money, wealth, reputation, what the neighbors think. Forgive, forgive, forgive us, us, Lord. Lord. For the times we have put our trust in false gods, horoscopes, fortune telling, Reiki, yoga, and other new age and occult practices, instead of seeking the face of God. Forgive, forgive us, us, Lord. For the times when some in our nation practiced witchcraft. Forgive, forgive us, Lord. For the times when some in our nation committed murder, theft, dishonesty, deceit, or adultery. Forgive, forgive us, us, Lord. For the times we have taken the Lord's name in vain. Forgive, forgive us, Lord. For the times we have not kept Sunday as a day of prayer and rest. Forgive us, Lord. For the sacrileges, insults, and outrages hurled against God, his sacred heart, Our Lady's immaculate heart, Jesus' Eucharistic presence, and the Blessed Trinity. Forgive, Forgive us, us, Lord. For the times we did not support our pregnant daughters, sisters, and friends, and instead encouraged them to have abortions. Forgive, Forgive us, Lord. We are sorry for all the babies that have been aborted and for the mothers who have been hurt by abortion. Forgive us, Lord. For the times we have turned a blind eye to a family member or other cohabitating. Forgive us, Lord. For the times we have consented to contraception in our marriages. Forgive us, Lord. For the times we have allowed a moral contraceptive based sex education in our schools. Forgive us, Lord. For the times when men did not take proper responsibility for their babies and their mothers in their lives. Forgive, Forgive us, Lord. For the times we gave our children or teens unrestricted access to the internet and smartphones where they could view what they like. Forgive, Forgive us, Lord. For the times we have avoided calling sin a sin. Forgive, Forgive us, Lord. Lord. For the times when we in the church fail to live or proclaim the fullest of the teachings of the church on marriage, family, and God's beautiful plan for human sexuality, including use of abortifacients and IVF. Forgive us, Lord. For the times when our people voted for abortion or legislated for laws contrary to the gospel, God's plan for human life, and marriage. Forgive us, Lord. For the abuse of innocent children which took place in our homes, schools, and church institutions. Forgive us, Lord. For the times we have neglected to call life sacred in our public and private debates. Forgive us, Lord. For the times we have abused or indulged in excessive alcohol, drug, gambling, or the evils that spring from them. Forgive us, Lord. For the times when we were afraid to witness to God or to our faith. Forgive us, Forgive Lord. Us, we repent, Lord, for all the ways we and Ireland have gone away of the world and in our stubbornness how we have forsaken you and your gospel. Forgive us, Forgive us Lord. Lord. The response is the Lord graciously hears. The Lord graciously hear us. We ask you back, Lord Jesus, to once again be our rightful sovereign King and Lord. The Lord graciously hear us. We turn back to you once again, Lord, and ask you to bless our nation. The Lord graciously hear us. We beg your grace of conversion and renewal to be poured out upon our nation and our young people. The Lord graciously hear us. We beg the grace to reject sin, to reject the ways of the world, and to embrace you, your gospel, and the false teaching of your church. 
Lord, who is graciously hear us.
Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste love. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with great blood passion at every moment, even until the end of time. Amen. Amen. Give us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And our peace to the people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We glory you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord the God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord of God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others, with announcing the great joy of the resurrection. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The love of Christ overwhelms us when we reflect that if one man has died for all, then all men should be dead. And the reason he died for all was that so that living men should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised to life for them. From now onwards, therefore, we do not judge anyone by the standards of the flesh. Even if we did once know Christ in the flesh, that is not now how we know him. For anyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old creation has gone and now the new one is here. Verbum Domini, Deo gracias. Response to the sentence, for you my soul is thirsting, oh my God. For you my soul is thirsting, oh my God. Oh God, you are my God. For you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. For you, for you my, for my soul, soul is thirsting, O oh Lord my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory, for your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, for, for you my, my soul is thirsting. Oh Lord, my God. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. For you, you my soul, soul is thirsting. Oh Lord, Lord, my God. For you will be my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand. Holds me fast. For, For you, me, my, my soul, soul is thirsting, O oh Lord, Lord, my God. God. Please stand for the gospel affirmation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way, the tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. Alleluia, 
still dark when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. Mary stayed outside near the tomb weeping. Then, still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body and Jesus had been, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, and I don't know where they put him. As she said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have taken away from him, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, because I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go and find the brothers, and tell them, I am ascending to my Father, and to your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And Mary Magdalene is a saint for our times. And perhaps in some ways, she is the saint for our times. And three years ago, or two years ago, I think it was one year ago, and um, Pope Francis elevated her memorial to the classification of a feast in the entire universal church. So in this, the Lord is saying, pay attention. Pay attention to Mary Magdalene. So we know from history that she was a woman of wealth, that she came from the town of Magdala, which is on the very north of Galilee, right in the water. And we meet Mary Magdalene first in the Gospel of Luke. In that scene, she appears at a meal. She's uninvited, and she comes in, and Jesus is having a meal uh, with a Pharisee called Simon. And she comes in, and she, almost like a dog, comes down to Jesus' feet and cleans her feet with an exceptionally expensive oil and cleans them with her hair. And she had a reputation as a scandalous sinner, and uh, the Pharisee kind of Simon is somewhat scandalized. And later on in the Gospels, while the disciples are kind of resting and eating, just like fires tend to do, and Martha is pouring herself out, we find Mary Magdalene again at the feet of Jesus, and totally absorbed. And later on in the Gospels, when all the disciples except one have kind of fled, we find Mary Magdalene again at the feet of Jesus. And then a few chapters later, a few weeks later, she's at the feet of Mary at Pentecost. So she was, um, past tense, um, a serious sinner. Um, some believe she was a woman caught in adultery in the, mentioned in the Gospel of John. But either way, we're told that seven demons were ex um, expelled from her. And the church fathers say that seven demons represent the seven deadly sins. But what is it? What is it about Mary Magdalene that she teaches us, that she educates us? 
Why is it that's so important? Mary Magdalene is an icon of perpetual repentance. She is a model that the Lord puts before us to enlighten us, to inform us, to mold us in repentance. So repentance um, means in the Latin to look again, but in sacred scripture it means to change, a change of mind, a change of heart, a change of disposition, a change of life. The Gospels begin with John the Baptist who proclaims this word repent. So you and I kind of already know this, but repentance begins when the Lord gives us this grace, a grace that kind of awakens us to the fact that we've sinned. So we hopefully we receive this grace, we acknowledge we've sinned, we go to confession, hopefully, and then we experience the joy of the Lord, the experience of being free from our sins, and we forget about it, and we move on, which is great. But Mary Magdalene is an icon of perpetual repentance. And true repentance will bring, always bring, sanctification. Perpetual repentance, when it's properly understood, brings about holiness. It makes us holy. It will transform us and allows us to become a true and effective instrument of the Lord. So this is simple and obvious, but when I look at my own life, I normally recognize it's not what happens. Normally I sin, I excuse myself, I mitigate myself, I point out there's factors, there's people, there's struggles, there's tiredness, there's all sorts of excuses. I reduce my, my guilt, or I blame others, um, or I admit my sin, but then I tend to focus on crazy politicians in this country and other countries our media, our celebrities, our, our relatives, our all sorts of people that whose sins kind of whatever annoy me. Or I get more annoyed at the sins or sometimes just the quirks or the decisions of others. But all of us have had confessions where God gave us the grace to fully acknowledge that I did X, Y, and Z. All of us have the grace where we're just truly sorry for specific things in our life. And in those moments and in those confessions, what we experience is true humility. And what St. Mary Magdalene is really teaching us is basically to stay in that spot, to stay in this state, because it's here where we are free. It's here in this state where we're closest to God. And it's here, recognizing our sinfulness, that we're gradually free from the cares of the world. We're kind of free from our, our egotism, our notions of what's important, our annoyances with others, all these different things. And it's here in this state where our souls are kind of most open to his grace. So perpetual repentance is, is a, in a sense, a form of prayer. It's a disposition of our hearts. It's a remembrance of who I am, a sinner needing a savior. It's a focus, a singular, perpetual, urgent focus on the Lord that kind of liberates us. All of us sin constantly. And just using myself and no one else, I can accuse myself just in the last 48 hours of um, doing good deeds, but my heart not being in it. And going about my day, forgetting about the Lord, and I can accuse myself of wasting time on all sorts of silly things and not thinking about the gospel or keeping signs. But genuine repentance kind of leads to not repeating the sin. And in order for that to happen, we need to keep in mind um, our sins before us for a particular time. And a great example of this is the example of King David. If you can remember in the Bible, King David um, is not where he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be at work, basically killing the Philistines, <laughs> doing God's will. And instead, he's up on he's up on the roof, and um, he's up on the roof, and Bathsheba um, is bathing, and she must have deliberately left the window open because. And I've never heard of a woman just, anyway, 
She must have literally left the woman open, uh, window open. David gets aroused, sends for her. Um, anyway, a few weeks, very quickly, she gets pregnant. David panics and gets her husband, Uriah, killed. And then God calls the uh, prophet Nathan, uh, who basically calls David out. Now, in this moment, David's been called out. What he could have done was he could have said, it's all Betsy's fault. You know, she didn't deliberately bathe with the window open. Like, she, she set me up. She probably did. But he didn't blame Betsy. He could have blamed Joab, who was always doing kind of, he's a sly kind of guy. He was David's kind of right hand man on the army field, on the battlefield. He was the one that got Uriah killed, but she was husband. But he doesn't blame Joe. He could have excused himself. He was a king. He had the right to many women. And, well, at least he had a lower part, um, morality than we do, than we, the world expects of us today. He could have excused himself. But instead, he pours his heart out, and he writes, if not the most beautiful, then the second most beautiful psalm in the entire Bible. My offense is truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. This disposition of heart brings a lot of grace. A lot of grace and transformation. And Jesus himself tells us in the scriptures that David had a heart most like God. And this heart is Christ-centered. It's not, it's not self-centered. And Jesus tells us the gospel of the Pharisees at, at the temple who's self-centered and focused, essentially praying to himself about how much he fasts and how good he is. And then Jesus compares him to the humble tax collector in the back who just simply acknowledges that he's a sinner and asks for mercy. King David, this tax collector, they're Christ-centered. And the news that the Lord wants us to know is that he wants to do wonders in our heart and wonders in our life. And the good news is that he does most of the work. So before our reparation, in a sense before prayer, we just need a change of what I call interior focus. Interior focus. In our prayer, asking the Lord, where am I offending you? Where am I offending you, Jesus? Where am I wasting your divine and precious gift of your grace in my life? What, what sin do I need to keep before my eyes? St. Francis would say and to the Lord, who are you and who am I? Asking the Lord, asking him for um, where am I wasting his graces? Asking him specifically for the grace of repentance. And the Lord will respond to this prayer according to the depths of our desire. Every sin is a, is a permanent offense. So no sin is little. And wasting sin is awful. But I just want to make a little clarification. Most of the time we confess our sins and the Lord wants us to forget them. Um, so that's most of the time. The Lord wants us to forget our sins. And if we are reminded of them and if they are getting us discouraged, and after we've confessed them, then that comes from Satan, and we don't dwell on them. We just confess, and we forget. But sometimes, for a particular period in our life, it can be useful to keep a particular sin before our eyes. This is what King David did. This is what the tax collector did. This is what Mary Magdalene did. And keeping that sin before our eyes keeps us Christ-focused. It keeps us humble. It keeps alive the, the memory and the, the reality that I need Jesus, that I need to be focused on him. Many years ago, I fell into lust, and keeping that sin before my eyes gave me a real healing in that. Today, um, I can recognize the sin of just interior noise. I'm trying to keep that sin before me so I can grow in interior silence. But the other thing the Lord has recently taught me about last few months is just praying Psalm 51 every day. Not just reading it, not just praying it, but trying to really internalize it. Other ways of growing in this kind of perpetual and um, repentance is confession. And when we go to confession, we don't want to just confess our sins, but try and confess 
the attitudes that lie beneath them. Try and acknowledge the disposition in our hearts, the whatever it is, maybe the lack of love in which we give something, or whatever is in our heart that only we know. And if you've never done it, I did it on May 29th before my ordination. I did it before my final vows. Um, but I encourage you just to make a general confession just a few times in your life, but that's where you go to a priest and you just go through all your sins. And I did that this year just before my ordination with Father Lawrence and one of our friars. And it's a very humbling experience, but it's also a very graceful experience because you, you've already confessed all these sins, but you're putting them all out. And it's a, in certain ways, it's seeing, being reminded of the mercy of God. And it's always a graceful um, experience. So St. David says, or St. Augustine speaking on King David, he says he's a man to be praised because he's constantly asking for pardon. And this frees him from the temptation that many of us struggle with, or I struggle with sometimes, where we're attentive to the sins of others, whether it's politicians or other whoever. But Mary Magdalene teaches us perpetual repentance is not self-focused. It's not beating ourselves up. It's not self-condemning. That's all kind of pseudo-humility. It's a state of recognition, recognition of um, times where we voice the grace, the graces, a recognition of sorrow for sin, a recognition of my need and my yearning for Jesus. In essence, it's a longing for him. Um, a disposition that keeps our heart a humble a disposition that doesn't distract us by the faults or the quirks of others. Mary Magdalene wasn't scandalized when the apostles, except for John, all disappeared at the cross. She wasn't scandalized when the apostles weren't at the tomb early in the morning. And she could go to Peter and John and the others and let them in the eye of that judgment because her heart was just focused on Jesus. It was a heart that was perpetually repentant and allowed her to become the instrument She's called today the Apostle to the Apostles, the first witness of the resurrection. And there are many diabolical evils in the world as we pray through the beautiful litany of repentance. And the Bible is the Lord's, and our first Bible is in our own hearts. And this is the place where the Lord wants to dwell, the place where the Lord wants to find us, and the place where the Lord wants to truly provide and transform us. Coming before our Father in heaven, we come now with our petition. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all the priests and bishops that God will give them the strength to proclaim the truth of the gospel, both in and out of season. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Pray for those who are sick and in hospital, especially from coronavirus, that they will receive healing and consolation at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. On this day of repentance and reparation on behalf of our nation, we pray in atonement for the ways we have thrown away from God, the Father, and implore his mercy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for any woman who may be considering having an abortion at this time, that they will realize the beauty and the sacredness of the new life within them, and for the work of Ask Magella, our pregnancy support agency. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the great outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon each one of us, that we will have the grace to be witnesses to God's love 
and truth in our families and communities. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious We pray for those who are dying at this time and those who have already passed away and for all the holy souls in purgatory that they may see the light of Christ's face in glory. We pray for all their families who are grieving for their faith and consolation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray now in a moment of silence for our personal intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious, hear us. We ask our Lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father in heaven, we pray. All these petitions, those in our hearts and minds, into your holy and sacred hands. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will be become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. This mystery of this water and wine, when you come to share in the divinity of Christ, the comfort you himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise the glory of his name for our good and good all of the story church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Uh, yeah. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is yeah. right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. From the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we have named. 
holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chance and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us. Save us. Save us. the world. For by your cross, cross and, and resurrection, you have set us, us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Brendan our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Saint, the, blessed, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom and power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but on the sake of and my soul shall be healed. The love of Christ compels us so that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised.
Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill of us that forbidden love, which with St. Mary Magdalene flung so resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Holy God, be praised by me.
I'd just like to thank Father Gushing for that really beautiful Mass and for Melissa from Net Ministries um, coming and helping us at very short notice with her really beautiful voice, great gift. And that was a particularly um, insightful and deep um, sermon. Father Gushing, thank you so much for that. And uh, that hopefully we can listen back to and, and ponder on more. Um, but we're now going to go to the latter part of our prayer vigil. Um, I would also just like to apologise for those on Facebook who couldn't connect uh, and who missed on the Rosary of Divine Mercy. That was actually my fault. I didn't press go live, which is very basic. <laughs> so uh, to where it's human, forgive divine. So apologies to everyone on Facebook um, who, who were trying to get through and, and couldn't initially. But we're coming to... Um, the devotion that we promote here in Human Life International, um, and you can see the banner there of the Holy Face of Jesus. But we're aware that very many people may not be familiar with this devotion. So I'm just going to go through um, just a very short, um, I suppose, uh, explanation, and then we're going to pray the Holy Face prayers in that context. So, um, devotion to the Holy Face of Jesus was revealed to Sister Marie of St. Peter a Carmelite sister in Tours in France in the mid to late 1840s, in the aftermath of the French Revolution, when atheistic communism was sweeping through France. The prayers to the Holy Face are given by Jesus as a direct remedy against these ills, by making reparation to God for the breaking of his first three commandments. Now, prior to this, different saints were associated with devotion to the Holy Face, starting with St. Veronica. The veil of Veronica is believed to be the veil that St. Veronica used to console Jesus by wiping his tortured face on the hill of Calvary, leaving a miraculous imprint of his face on the veil. This veil was then passed on to the apostles uh, and is kept in the Vatican to this day, Though, with the passage of time through the centuries, the original image faded greatly. Now, on January 6, 1849, on the Feast of the Epiphany, when Rome was under siege, Pope Pius IX had the relic of Veronica's veil placed for public veneration in St. Peter's Basilica. A second miracle occurred on the same veil when the divine face of Jesus appeared distinctly, as if living, in front of the original, and was illuminated by a soft light for three hours in his passion. People flocked to witness this, and afterwards artists sat with eyewitnesses, and original sketches of the vision of the Holy Face on that feast day, the Feast of the Epiphany, 1849, they were produced, and then they were copied. Now the copies of those original drawings were attached to the miraculous veil. Also two other great relics, the relic of the true cross and the spear that pierced the side of Christ, that pierced Jesus' heart. So these copies of the original drawings, photo fits if you like, um, of, of the vision of Jesus, um, these copies were then framed with a red wax seal and sent to religious orders all around the world, including Sister Marie of St. Peter's convent, where she lived and died, having offered her life heroically as a victim's soul that the prayers will be made public. In 1849, when this miracle in the Vatican happened, there, were, there was a religious house in practically every town in Ireland, and so many of these relics came to us here in Ireland. And this uh, poignantly, was also the year of the Great Famine in Ireland uh, when it came to an end, a time of great suffering here. Back in France, a friend and patron of the Carmelite convent and of the Carmelites, and a friend of Sister Maria St. Peter, he's now Venerable Leo de Pont, he was chosen to bring this devotion to the world. Leo received one of these relics, as you see in front of you here. And he started to pray the prayers in front of his relic. And he burned an oil lamp perpetually in front of that relic. And he came to be known as the miracle worker, or as Pope Pius IX actually referred to him, 
one of the greatest miracle workers ever. Because of the literally thousands upon thousands of healing miracles which occurred through his recitation of the prayers we're going to pray, the prayers of the Holy Face given to Sister Maria of St. Peter, and his uh, anointing of the sick with the, the blessed oil that burned perpetually in front of his relic. And miracles are still happening through the recitation of these prayers. Here in Ireland, in the last three years, we have witnessed miraculous healings through the relic uh, or relics of the Holy Face and the recitation of the prayers. Uh, that great saint, Saint Therese of Lisieux, the little flower, she was so inspired by this devotion that she took uh, the full title, uh, Sister Therese of the Child Jesus and of the Holy Face, on entering the Carmelite convent at the tender age of just 15. And before she entered Carmel, um, she apparently spent 10 days in prayer, contemplating Jesus in his holy face, disfigured in the passion, based on the relic, like the one here, based on the miracle in 1849. So today we will be on eternity of the Holy Face, which to this day is based in the home of Leo Dupont in Tours in France. In the 1800s, Ireland too had a confraternity or, or prayer association dedicated to the Holy Face of Jesus. And during this time, there was a French priest, a close friend of Leo Dupont, who dedicated his book on the Holy Face to the people of Ireland and especially to Irish emigrants around the world, especially to the, the United States. And he was acknowledging their part um, in spreading this devotion around the world when they were forced to leave their homeland for various reasons. The preamble of our Irish constitution starts and states, in the name of the most holy trinity, from whom is all authority, and to whom, as our final end, all actions, both of men and states, must be referred. And yet, we in Ireland now are behaving as if God did not even exist. However, Jesus himself revealed, every time my face is contemplated, I will pour out my love into the hearts of those persons. And by means of my holy face, the salvation of many souls will be obtained. And we're now going to pray the prayers of the Holy Face of Jesus. Uh, for anyone who is not familiar with this and would like to access those prayers, uh, I'd encourage you to go to our website, um, which is www.theholyface.com forward slash booklets. And there are free PDFs you can download there with some um, background on the Holy Face um, and also the actual prayers we're going to pray. So we're now going to pray these prayers now. And for those who have our HLI, Human Life International Ireland book, booklets, we start these prayers on, on page 9. The introductory prayer starts on page 9. And all is offered in a spirit of reparation, especially for the breaking of the first three commandments. Um, and we, can, we pray for, in reparation for that, for that and also for each other's intentions. So... Um, for anyone listening in, or anyone who ever will be listening into this broadcast, we're praying for your intentions. Please do also pray for us right around the world. So the introductory prayer, we pray together. Dear Lord, through the sorrowful and immaculate hearts of Mary, we offer you these prayers in reparation for the sins which offend God the most in these modern times. The sins of blasphemy and the preparation of Sundays, and the holy face of obligation. And now a prayer to offer the holy face of Jesus, to God the Father, to appease his justice, and draw down mercy upon us. We include our own intentions. We pray this together. Almighty and eternal Father, since it has pleased our divine Savior, Savior to reveal to mankind, the power is lying in his holy face. We now prepare ourselves of this treasure in our great need. Since our Savior himself comes on us by offering to you his holy face, his figures in the passion, we can procure the settlement 
of all the affairs of our households, and that and nothing whatsoever will be refused to us. We now come before your throne. Eternal Father, turn away your angry face from our guilty people, whose face has become unsightly in our eyes. Look instead upon the face of your beloved Son, for this is the face of him in whom you are well pleased. We now offer you this holy face, covered with blood, sweat, dust, filth, and shame, in reparation for the worst crimes of our age, which are atheism, blasphemy, and the desecration of your holy days. We thus hope to appease your anger, justly provoked against us, the all-merciful advocate of the mouth to plead our cause. Listen to his cries, behold his tears, O God, and through the merits of his holy face, hearken to him when he seeks for us for a miserable sinner. We now come to the useful litany of the holy face of Jesus. And we pray the first part together. I salute thee, I adore thee, and I love thee. O oh, adorable face of Jesus, my beloved noble seal of divinity, outraged in you by blasphemers, as I offer thee, through the hearts of thy blessed Lord, the worship of all the angels and saints, and most humbly beseeching thee to repair and renew in me and in all men thy image to spirits by sin. And the response is, Have mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which was adored with profound respect by Mary and Joseph when they saw thee for the first time. Have, have mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which ravished with joy in the stable of Bethlehem, the angels, the shepherds, and the magi. Have, have mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which transpires with the dart of love in the temple, the saintly old man Simeon and the prophetess Anna. Have, have mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which filled with admiration the doctors of the law, when thou appeared in the temple at the age of twelve years, have and mercy, mercy on us. O adorable face, which possesses beauty always ancient and always new, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O adorable face, which is the masterpiece of the Holy Ghost, in which the Eternal Father is well pleased, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O adorable face, which is the ineffable mirror, of the divine perfections. Have mercy on us. On this part we pray together. O oh, adorable face of Jesus, which was so mercifully bowed down on the cross on the day of thy passion for the salvation of the world, once more today in the city, bend down towards us for our sins, cast upon us the garments of thy passion, and give us thy peace. O oh, adorable face, which became brilliant like the sun, and radiant with glory on the mountain of Tabor, have, have mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which wept and was troubled at the tomb of Lazarus, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which was rendered sad in the sight of Jerusalem, and shed tears on that ungrateful city, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which was bowed down to the ground in the garden of olives, and covered with confusion for our sins. Have, have mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which was covered with the sweat of blood. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which was struck by a vile servant, covered with a veil of shame, and profaned by the sacrilegious hands of thine enemies. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which, by its divine glance, wounded the heart of St. Peter with the dart of sorrow and love. Have oh, mercy on us. Of this we pray together. Be, Be merciful, merciful to us, O oh my God. God. Do, not Do not reject our prayers, prayers when in the midst of our afflictions we call upon thy holy name and seek with love and confidence thy adorable face. O oh, adorable face, which was washed and anointed by Mary and the holy women, and covered with the shroud. Have mercy, mercy on us. O oh, adorable face, which was all resplendent with glory and beauty, 
of the day of the resurrection. Have mercy on us. O adorable face, which is hidden in the Eucharist. Have mercy on us. O adorable face, which will appear at the end of time in the clouds with great power and great majesty. Have mercy on us. O adorable face, which will make sinners tremble. Have mercy on us. O adorable face, which will fill the just with joy for all eternity. Have mercy on us. O adorable face, which merits all our reverence, our homage, and our adoration. Have mercy on us. And we pray together three times. O Lord, show us thy face, and we shall be saved. O Lord, show us thy face, and we shall be saved. O Lord, show us thy face, and we shall be saved. And then the prayer of St. Therese of the Child Jesus to the Holy Face. O Jesus, who in thy bitter passion did become the most abject of men, a man of sorrows, I venerate thy sacred face, whereon there once did shine the beauty and the sweetness of the Godhead. But now it has become for me as if it were the face of a leper. Nevertheless, under those disfigured features, I recognize thy infinite love, and I am consumed with the desire to love thee and make thee loved by all men. The tears which well up abundantly in thy sacred eyes appear to me as so many precious pearls that I love to gather up in order to purchase the souls of poor sinners by means of their infinite value. O Jesus, whose adorable face ravishes my heart, I implore thee to fix deep within me thy divine image and to set me on fire with thy love, that I may be found worthy to come to the contemplation of thy glorious face in heaven. Amen. Amen. St. Therese of the Child Jesus of the Holy Face. Pray for us. So we're now going to pray um, the chaplet to the Holy Face. Uh, it's a chaplet of reparation again, always in reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments. Um, composed uh, by Sister Maria St. Peter under inspiration from our Lord. When he asked her to offer in prayer against the enemies of God and especially against atheistic communism. So um, there are specific chapter beads, and again, if you if you want to get in touch, go to our website and you can um, follow through with that from there. But we start on the crucifix now. Eternal Father, we pray together. Eternal the Father, Father, I offer you the, the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and all the other instruments of His Holy Passion, passion that you may put the vision in the camp of your enemies. For as your beloved Son said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fall. And the five um, invocations. May God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those that hate him flee before his face. May the thrice holy name of God overthrow all their commands. May the holy name of the living God split them up by disagreements. May the terrible name of the God of eternity stop out all their godlessness. Lord, I do not desire the death of the sinner, but that he be converted to live. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Now we pray for you to follow God's narrow prayer, the, which Jesus said was the great prayer in reparation for the sin of blasphemy and the abuse of the holy name. So we pray together, may the most holy, holy most, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible, and unutterable name of God be always praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in, in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, by all of the creatures of God, and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the most holy sacraments of the altar. Amen. And on the loop, a total of 33 small beads, we pray Psalm 68, verse 1, and in between, my Jesus' mercy and glory be. So in honour of our Lord's 33 years on earth, and divided into five sets of six, in honour of our Lord's five senses, the perfect man, Lord incarnate, who never sinned through the senses, but has received so much abuse through the senses. And the final three recitations of Psalm 68, verse 1 at the end, uh, there are none of his public life, his passion, death, and resurrection. So we start. 
Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. And let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. The those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. And the final three. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And on the middle of the end, we pray this invocation. Eternal Father, I offer you, you the holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spit, in, in reparation for the crimes of commonness, blasphemers, and, and for purveyors of the holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. On this quote at the end, every time my face is contemplated, I will pour out my love into the hearts of those persons, and by means of my holy face, the salvation of many souls will be obtained. So um, they are the first of the Holy Face, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Mm-hmm. So I'll just um, conclude with some final announcements. So we've, we've 
particularly like to thank uh, Father Rasheen Martin, uh, CFR, uh, not so long ordained, and all of the Franciscan friars of the Renewal, Renewal, I'm sorry, not our Franciscan friars of the Renewal here in Moira Slemmerich. We'd like to thank uh, 